What's up? IF F blog. What's up? So it's been uh, a little bit since we um, have had a chance to actually talk about what's going on in uh, the the world of the wedding of uh, Yolanda and Aurel. So we just want to kind of update you on some things that have been happening. Um, most importantly, talk to you about something that's very important. A lot of people focus on the wedding, but they don't focus on the marriage. And it's amazing how much time and energy one will put into planning a wedding and they don't put as much time into planning the marriage. So we actually took a, uh, a couple of weeks to actually work on the, the marriage itself. Which is why we've been MIA. So we've been having a lot of um, important questions, a lot of difficult questions, a lot of very, very tough conversations that needed to happen that were tear-filled and um, uh, some might say stressful but very, very worthwhile. And I think that we're both better individuals because we had these really, really tough conversations about what we needed. And uh, there's some resources that we looked into that we've used. We haven't used fully, for sure. We haven't used them fully because we kind of let the conversations grow organically. But uh, some starting points are these books. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little, there we go. There we go. The Hard Questions. This book is by... Susan Peaver. Susan Peaver, 100 Essential Questions to Ask Before You Say I Do. What else? Good book so far. Um, this one, The 10 Conversations You Must Have Before You Get Married and How to Have Them, Dr. Guy Grenier. I think that's how you pronounce it. So those are just two of the books that we started referring to and started reading. But highly recommend before you get engaged to talk and figure out what does your future look like and really ask the tough questions because you don't want to wait until the actual wedding day. Because even if you think you know someone, you know, sometimes you have to say the, the tough things about what you want. Another book, I don't know if we have it out here, but it's called The, the Five Love Languages. Um, yes. It's a very good book and it talks about how different people um, express love very, very differently. And that your language and how you receive it may be different than how somebody else receives and, and gives it. So that was a really um, big thing for us, too, to understand what our individual love languages are and how we, um, how we communicate to each other and what we need from each other. So that, that was very eye-opening. Again, it was very, very difficult. And like in this video, you're not going to get like, oh, okay, it was difficult, it wasn't that difficult. No, it was very, very, very difficult. But it needed to get done, and it was done. And um, as I said, the the growth process sucks. It really sucks. Growing pains. There's a reason why it's called growing pains. And Painful. most people avoid growing pains, but it's when you face those fears and when you you kind of own up to them that you grow and you deal with the pain. And then when you're on the other side of it, you're you're so much of a better person because of it. So. Uh, growing pains are good. And your relationship is stronger for it. And mm -hmm. if you go through those questions and you don't, and you find that you're not on the same page, you're going to save yourself a lot of heartbreak in the end. So this cool. is a serious topic. We know this is not as crazy as it normally is, but it's really important. I hit myself in the, in the face with a pie. But ah, she didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> serious comment. But unfortunately, I don't have a pie. Or whipped cream. But nonetheless, part of our uh, wedding process, planning process, has been working on the marriage. And that, I think, is, in my opinion, this is the most important video. Yes. And, and I think what also hasn't been mentioned besides having the hard conversations, which have been very, very difficult sometimes to hear, but really necessary, because you can't, you have to face a lot of things that are going to happen in the relationships that are happening. And even if you've been with someone for nine years, you don't know everything. Yes, it's a long time. So one of the things besides reading these books that we've done, we've actually done some counseling with the rabbi. And um, we've also met with a couple that, an older couple from Italy who have been married for about 40 years now. They're in their 60s. And we actually um, went out to Panera with them and had a long conversation about what was successful about their marriage and how they make it work. And one of the things that I learned too is that it's really important to get advice from people who are successful in what they do. If you're looking to have a successful marriage or relationship, you need to ask people who have a successful marriage.
to find out what they do and how it worked for them. Yeah, talking to people who done what you want to do. Mm-hmm. You get some really good insight. And another thing that I've learned, and I'll I'll confess this, is that when you're about to get married, it can be exciting, but it can also be extremely nerve-wracking. And I think a lot of people don't talk about that emotion, that it's not necessarily you're on cloud nine. It is frightening. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. You know, it's true. Um, the, the truth of the matter is, you know, one of the pieces of advice that the rabbi gave us, he said that if you go into your wedding and you're not nervous or not scared that's actually a, a warning sign because this is one of the most um difficult decisions in our life that's my brother in the background you might get to meet him a little later um it's one of the most difficult decisions that you'll ever make in your life and you kind of take it like haphazardly you give the example of a lot of celebrities who kind of get married after a few months and then they get divorced after a couple of months because they don't take it very seriously so if you are going through the wedding planning process and you are scared and you're nervous apparently it's normal so don't freak out Okay. Yes. So work on the marriage, not just the wedding. Mm -hmm. We're going to come back to you with another video very, very soon. Bye.